What you guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the all new Hiram's Boot CD with Windows 10 PE. Now this has been a long awaited updated version of Hiram's Boot CD. Now if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification button to be notified when we upload new videos every day on this channel. So let's take a look at Hiram's Boot CD with Windows 10 PE and uh, we can see uh, what it looks like and uh, also I'll boot up to it so you can see here. So it gives you a bunch of information here. I'll leave the links in the video description. That is hiramsbootcd.org and uh, hit the download tab here and it will give you all the information about the BCD MBR tools, other tools, removable uh, drive tools, security and antiviruses, hard disk tools, defrag, uh, hard disk diagnostic tools, uh, imaging tools, system tools, password security tools, all that sort of good stuff is on here. Windows recovery, networking, it covers all the areas and you've got some really good programs on there. Now you need to come down to where it says file and you can download that ISO file. Once you've created your bootable USB flash drive, you need to boot to the BIOS. F1, F2, Escape, Delete or F12 will get you into your BIOS. Then you can hit settings, then boot on your menu. Yours may look different, but it will be the same thing. You need to get to the boot order and you can see here boot mode selected legacy and UEFI. I've got mine set as that because sometimes by default it's set as a UEFI and I like to have it as both and it makes it easier. So if you go to boot option one, you should see USB hard disk uh, and your hard disk drive there. Mine's called SanDisk. Yours will be whatever USB flash drive that you're using. Then you can go into advanced here. Once you get into the advanced options, you'll be able to go into USB configuration. I just like to check in here just to make sure everything is okay. And you can see here, legacy USB supported has been enabled on mine. And I like to leave it like that. Say yes to save these uh, configurations. And then we can push F10 and save and exit. And then boot to that USB flash drive. I will show you how to create a bootable USB flash drive in another video and I'll post that after this video. So once you've got this uh, booted up you will see uh, the screen what you're seeing here and this will give you access to a bunch of tools which allows you to fix and diagnose uh, computers and if they're not booting or maybe you want to recover data because you've lost data or maybe uh, there's something wrong with that computer and you want to try to run some fixes, you can run it from a Windows 10 pre-installed environment, which is what you're seeing here. You can see BCD, uh, MBR tools. We've got a bunch of other tools in here which allows you to run fixes and, te and diagnostic tests on that system. Now, obviously, malware removal can be done from here manually but you can run uh, malware bytes and stuff like that from this environment but it's not going to be as effective as it would be if you was booted up to the main desktop you can see here data recovery get data back and there's a bunch of other tools on here which you can use now get data back is one of my go-to tools for recovering data via software and it's a pretty decent uh, bit of kit it's probably one of the best ones out there which I'm, and i've used a lot of them over the years and it does do a thorough uh, deep scan of the drive sector by sector and you can pull that data back. Now Windows PE disks are essential as a PC repair tech. They allow you to do a lot of useful stuff and you can see here if the PC doesn't boot you can run a test on that drive to see whether the drive is failing by using Windows Digital Data Lifeguard Diagnostics which is Western Digital's hard drive scanner. It will test for bad sectors, also failing drives now, if you know the drive is failing, you want to stop that straight away and try to get the data off that drive immediately. Now, also, you can do imaging here. You can back up from other images using a Cronus True Image, IOMI Backupper, or Macrum Reflect, depending on what tool you like to use. And there's a, a different bunch of tools there that you can use. Now, once you boot up to this, you'll be able to restore from an image that you've got saved on an external drive and put it to that drive so it can overwrite the original image. You've got um, IOMI partition assistant so you can play around with the partitions on that drive as well by using this tool. And these are useful tools as a PC repair tech. You'll use these quite a lot, and especially if the system is not booting, it just allows you to get access uh, to these areas. So this uh, actual Windows 10 PE comes pre-packed with loads of useful tools 
that any sort of uh, PC repair tech would use. Now, obviously, I wouldn't be using the burning tools. They're not my sort of thing. But other tools, which are system tools, which is RedShot, registry backup and tools like that are useful when you want to do certain things from a pre-installed environment you've got sys internals system tools on there a bunch of tools there windows recovery which allows you to reset the windows password if you've forgotten it and also you can see here we've got other, other bunch of tools in here like malware scanners now malware bytes anti-malware is not going to run uh, so good in this environment it doesn't work as well in a windows 10 a pe environment or pre-installed environment it has to be booted to the desktop but online scanner eset online scanner will work very well in this sort of uh, circumstance you can run this and enable detection and potential unwanted programs and run a scan with that and that should work a lot better and of course there's loads of other live cds out there like kaspersky and other tools like that you can use for removing malware and viruses now product key tools which will allow you to find product keys there's some other stuff on here as well which you can use i'm pretty sure they're going to keep adding stuff to it and uh, there's a lot of useful tools that i could add to this as well i do make my own windows 10 pe discs with my own tools that i use on a regular basis but this is a really good lifesaver for people that want to use it now obviously team viewer is a great tool if uh, you want to get someone who can't boot a machine uh, on their end you can get them to boot to this uh, pe and then connect via the uh, live cd which i've done a video on before and there's a bunch of other stuff on here as well now if you've never used a windows 10 PE or pre-installed environment before or any sort of pre-installed environment before then you should give it a go because it's very useful and uh, it's a great way of fixing computers and also if you could search the surf, surf the web on here as well and search the web via this method it's totally safe there's no malware running on that computer because it won't run because it's shut down this is all booted up as you can see here and what you do here will be uh, gone when you shut the PC down when you shut the actual pre-installed environment down it'll be gone so doing online banking on here is really good and safe because obviously there won't be no uh, issues as long as you're uh, running in this environment you'll be completely safe so you can see here we do have pe network management this will allow you to do your wi-fi settings or firewall settings or anything like that you can set this all up if you need to as well and uh, you should have no problems connecting to the internet via this method if you do then obviously you can go to their forum I'm pretty sure they've got a forum or support page which you can put in uh, some information there but I think they have fixed a lot of issues with the uh, networking uh, issue on here anyway I think that's going to be about it for this video if you want to see more on this let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see me use this for and uh, I'll make some videos for you on it anyway if you want to see the uh, how to boot a USB flash drive and how to create a bootable USB flash drive for Hirons. I'll make that video. I've already got it and I'll upload it for you uh, shortly after this one. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great weekend and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.